Hello, my name's Danny Edge and I'd like to welcome you to my new YouTube channel, all about DMSO. This video is about DMSO, its health benefits and how to use it. DMSO, or its full name, dimethyl sulfoxide, is an organic sulfur compound which has some amazing properties. Pure DMSO is a clear liquid and it is mainly used diluted with distilled or deionized water as a topical anti-inflammatory compound for pain relief. It has the amazing property of being transdermal. This means it can cross the skin barrier and be absorbed by the body extremely quickly and can be used to treat many conditions that are helped by the use of an anti-inflammatory. If it is pure, it has a freezing point of 18.5 degrees Celsius. So if you get your bottle and the contents are solid, all you need to do is warm it up. You can either leave it somewhere warm or put the, put the bottle in warm water and it will return to a liquid. This does not affect the quality of the DMSO, no matter how many times you do it. Once diluted, it will not go solid again, even at zero degrees Celsius. And it will keep almost indefinitely if kept in a stoppered bottle out of direct sunlight when not in use. Pure DMSO is generally diluted before use, usually to about 70% with distilled or deionized water. This is seven parts DMSO to three parts water. This helps to reduce the skin irritation or burning sensation you can get when it's applied to the skin. It can be diluted further if you're using it in a sensitive area but it is most effective between 70 and 90%. When using DMSO, cleanliness is very important because when DMSO is absorbed through the skin, it can take some other substances with it, such as dirt or ink. It is a powerful solvent, so you should not apply it with synthetic materials. Cotton is fine. If you're using the gel, you can apply it with your fingers, but please make sure your hands are clean first. When using DMSO topically, you may notice a garlic-like taste in your mouth and that your breath has a garlic-like smell. This is because the human body metabolizes DMSO to produce DMS, dimethyl sulfone and dimethyl sulfide. And it is the dimethyl sulfide that creates this side effect. I'm often asked if this can be prevented, but unfortunately, since dimethyl sulfide is considered to be the active ingredient, there seems to be little that can be done to reduce this. When used topically, the garlic-like smell can vary from person to person. In some people, it's hardly noticed, while others can find it a real problem. It can be more noticeable if the DMSO has been taken orally, as 5% of the DMS produced is expelled through the mouth. One of the major benefits of DMSO is its ability to greatly reduce most types of pain. However, it's always best to find out what is causing the pain. DMSO is not intended to replace your doctor. If you have a persistent pain, there is a problem, even if the cause of that pain is not known. But once the source of the pain has been determined, DMSO can be used to full advantage to help alleviate the symptoms of that pain. Although DMSO can cause itching, scaling and a transient burning sensation, it's relatively non-toxic by skin absorption and has long been considered to be one of the safest products ever used in medicine. There's never been any documented cases of death or serious injury from the use of DMSO, despite its use by millions of people around the world. We are very passionate about DMSO and aim to provide practical advice on its uses and applications in future videos and tutorials. I hope this video has been helpful and informative to you and I hope that you'll check out our other videos as well. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below if you want to see more of our content and future videos and updates. Also you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. Just search for All About DMSO. 
This is also the easiest way to contact us if you need any help and advice, if you have any questions or concerns, or need any other general information regarding DMSO. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Goodbye for now.